Hello everybody, welcome back to another Q-based tutorial. I am DJ Leandro and in this video we're going to be talking about GATE. Okay, now, GATE is basically the complete opposite of what a sidechain compressor does. That is the simplest way to describe it. With that being said, in detail what it means is, where a sidechain compressor, where you're sending one signal to trigger a sidechain for another signal, it will duck. With a gate, what it does, it actually releases the audio. Exactly as the name implies, gate, is that any time, for argument's sake, you are side-chaining in a gate, it will send a signal, and once that signal is triggered in the track that you want, the gate will open and release that sound. So it's basically the complete opposite of what a sidechain compressor does. I'm going to show you gate as it is without any sidechain. And then I'm going to show you an example how to sidechain it. And you guys can create some really, really cool effects uh, with gate. Okay, so we're going to first start off. And this is with a kick and a vocal. Okay, so that is what we are working with. So we're going to focus on the vocal in this case. We'll then open the edit options. You'll go here. You'll click, you'll find, and you'll search for gate. And here we go, here we have our gate. So we're going to listen just to the vocal. Okay, now you can see it's been triggered with the gate. I'll explain to you a little bit what all these do. Again, very similar to sidechain compression. If you haven't seen my video on sidechain uh, compression, uh, click on the top right or in the description and you can find it there. So here this works very similar. Here's your attack, which you want quick, hold, drop it. Again, this is, as previously said in my previous video with regards to sidechain compression, everything is subjective. It's totally what you are feeling. I'm just going to show you the basics on how to use it, and then you can feel free to go crazy however you like. So it's very similar. It's the same attack, hold, release. And then here, the analysis option. What this does is, is basically if you want to take it just the peak. So once the peak is hit it will open the gate, or if you want it to be open with basically more audio being sent through. So just with the vocal, right, we're gonna use, let's say for argument's sake, just the peak. And then over here is your threshold, which will increase, decrease, however you feel it. Okay, so now we're gonna just put the threshold up so you can get a good idea. See, it's only using the peaks. Now, if I increase it a little bit more, as well as drop the threshold. So basically, every time it will hit a peak, it will open the gate. And we can drop the release. And that's it. Very easy. Now, I'm going to show you with sidechain, and this is where it gets really, really cool, where you can come up with some, some really, really nice ideas. Okay, so very simple, how to add the side, uh, how to add the sidechain. On the top here, you're going to activate. Click the cogwheel. Add our sidechain source, which in this case, we're going to add for the kick. There we go. And again, as mentioned in my previous video, always do pre-fade, uh, sorry, post-fade. You'll close that up, and then now, with the sidechain being active, now we get to listen. Very, very cool. So basically that means that every time the kick is sending a signal, to the vocal, it's opening up the vocal. And then once the kick is not being played, the vocal is not being heard. It was played one last time. Now with this, you can use it on anything that you want. Uh, I'll show you another example now. We're gonna use it on a bass sound. So this is the bass. Okay, and we're gonna add a gate to this one. So again, you click in the edit window. Search for gate. We're going to do add sidechain from the kick. Okay, now let's have a listen. Okay. 
And that's it, guys. Very, very easy to do. So I'm sure you get the idea now. So yeah, I hope this is going to help you with your future productions. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one.